today I was thinking we'll come in if you have any questions, you know, different groups, Korean group again, or Taiwanese, or Vietnamese, or Chinese. Anyone need to ask anything? Vanilla. No. Oh, you have? No. Since I okay la? No. Oh, oh, okay. It's okay now. Oh. How come you don't tell me when it's okay? You only tell me when it's not okay. <laughs> huh? This is funny. <laughs> no questions? Hmm? How are the dog people? Oh, don't ask. <laughs> Every time I'm on retreat, the dogs get hurt, wounded, injured. One of them is still having to wear the con, con hat now, one more week. And uh, even Good Love has a wound over here. And then a small one has a wound on the eye. She was scratching. I said, no, no, don't scratch. And I put some medicine on it for her. And I had to give them something. I feel sorry for my dogs. Every time I am on retreat personally, or I'm doing retreat with you, meaning I'm more busy, then it happens all the time. All the dogs, big wounds, small wounds, they all have something. But they don't complain, that's the thing, you know. I feel so sorry. Now I had to leave, I, I wonder if they're okay. I tell them, please help me, I have to go. Just come down, help me by coming down, stay here. Because some, some dog, if he stays alone, he cannot bear it. He keeps barking and scratching, you know? So he said, today I need your help. I have to go to work. You must stay here. I come back. Is it possible that the other dogs can be around us now? Come here? Yeah. I'm not sure. <laughs> <laughs> not all the people, but close by. Bring the dogs here, you mean? Somewhere, somebody close by. Uh, no. Somewhere is close by so that they can uh, interact more often. I know, I know. But at this time, they should sleep, huh? Because they have to get up and go out soon at five. The thing is, they are different dogs. I did not even have enough time to train them, like all the dogs. And they have been wow dogs. Although they're very loving and attached to me. But I'm not sure if they like people around. And if they're here, I have to hold them with the leash, otherwise they'll be running outside. Yeah. Maybe not because of you, they just like to run out. Understand? And then we cannot find them. It's okay, they will always come back. Yeah. If they do get loose, they always come back. Yeah. It's just that there are other dogs already before we came. They have some dogs here already, and sometimes uh, they might see each other and they might fight. No? Yeah, that's a problem. <laughs> it's all trapped around me already. I cannot escape. Even before I came, there were more than ten dogs here, dozens of dogs here already. Therefore, well, there are some wild cats. Uh, so yeah. Not wild, but there are some cats. Also cats, yeah. They're also wild. They're all wild cats and dogs are kept by the uh, old owner before, maybe just to keep security for the place. They left, but they, they left the dogs here. They don't have room to bring the dogs with them. That's what they said. Sometimes they come and chase, you know, and I'm worried my dogs will get into the fight. They are bigger dogs. My dogs are small. Good love, he didn't fight. <laughs> Not anymore. But if he sees other dogs, maybe <laughs> he will chase them all. <laughs> my trouble, you know. Maybe he didn't do much, he just got a hold of their ears and not let go. <laughs> Bite the ear and not let go like last time. And then he has big, 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 big teeth and the ear might get ripped off. It happened one time in, in Austria. <laughs> oh, I have to go back to the owner, take the dog to hospital, pay for everything, apologize profusely. He just held the ear, he didn't do anything, and didn't let go. <laughs> and the ear was torn, you know. Oh, poor dog, the other dog. <laughs> he could not do anything. If he bites your ear, you just stay there. The more you struggle, the more it hurts. So, the poor dog person. And it's not that the neighbor came out and beat my dog. Yeah, because he wanted good love to let go. How much he beat, he didn't let go. 
Like, oh, lucky we came out on time, otherwise he'd be beaten to death. This is my life, just really trapped everywhere. That's why I cannot go anywhere, because if I go, the dogs get hurt again. You know, they already get hurt now. If I go somewhere else, I don't know what will happen to them before I come back. Or when I came back to Taiwan, I left them for a while. A lot of things happened already. And it was very difficult to bring them here already, because I had to quarantine, you know. Now it's less, before it was for three months. Oh, some dogs die inside because they cannot bear it. They're not used to being without their caretaker and being close up like that. Cannot go out anywhere, don't see the grass, don't see the sun. Not allowed to, not allowed to take a dog out. Yeah, for three months, imagine, many dogs dying. Oh, my heart, when I knew, my heart sank, you know. I think humans don't deserve any animals. The way sometimes we treat them. So very, very unfair. But nowadays, many countries abolish that. Before they used to, even in England, maybe three months, six months, I can't remember, but at least some months. Dogs, they're very attached to their caretakers. Three months long, and don't often see. You have to see at a certain time, you know? Not like you can see any time you want. And people, mostly, they have to work. You understand? They cannot just keep going on time to see their dog every day or even every week. It's very heartbreaking for both of them. And now it's not anymore. Even in England, they, they don't do that anymore. So thank God for that. In Taiwan, I think it's only one week now. Oh, one long week. Yeah, and when Good Love came out, he was sick all over the skin. He could not walk. And I had to even heal him myself because medicine did not help quickly enough and he could not even walk anymore. He was so sick, so weak, mosquitoes beating all over. In the public area, it's not the same as at home, you know? And the caretaker there is not the same like I take care. Sometimes when I ask them what they did for the dog, they wrote it down just the way I instructed, but they didn't do it. I know that. So it was kind of bowed, hand and feet. I feel really sorry for my dogs. They're they are still small, you know, and young. Up to three years, they are not yet adults, yeah, still babies. I feel very sorry for them because they love me so much. Yeah. If they didn't care about me, I would feel <laughs> less worry or less concern. They love me too much. I don't know any human beings on this planet ever love me that much. The feeling, you feel it, you cannot explain. If you have dogs, you know, right? <laughs> Unconditional love. Uh, yeah, you know that no, nobody ever loves you that much. They die for you. They have only you. That's it. They really love you with all their heart, all their being. Mm -hmm. 